Hi everyone, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My name is Shikra. So this is going to be a fall fashion trends for 2023 video. So we have a lot of exciting trends, a lot of exciting colors that are trending for fall 2023. So if you're interested, please keep on watching. Okay, so one of the first colors is red. People are really saying red is that color. On the runways, we've seen a lot of red for fall 2023. So it looks like if you have red, if you like red, if you look good in red, if red makes you feel really amazing inside, wear it fall 2023. And we're talking about a bold red, you know, a nice rich red. And wearing a head to toe look of all red is pretty much on trend. So if you think wearing full red is a little bit too out there, for fall 2023, it isn't. Next color that is a trend for fall 2023 is a little more muted and pure back, and that is yellow. So from different ranges of yellow, from like mellow yellow, mustard yellow, muted yellow, whatever. So yellow is definitely a color to wear for fall. If maybe red is a little too much for you, then probably go towards the yellow. And I do feel like yellow looks great on a lot of different skin tones, uh, just depending on the shade, of course. But yes, yellow, full look of yellow works. Uh, yellow is not just for spring or for summer, so different shades can be worn all throughout the year. For the last color I've been seeing as a trend color for fall 2023, it is olive green, like an olive oil-ish green. And I do feel like the green, the yellow, and the red are a good variety, like a good, you know, shade range to kind of go through if you know you want to have colors in your closet instead of just the natural, like, you know, whites, beiges, and blacks that we see a lot during the fall time. So. If green is more up your alley, if you feel like that looks better with your skin tone, then I would definitely go towards the olive green. And I do feel like the green and the yellow can really be used as neutrals as well. So they do go with a lot of different pieces in people's wardrobes. Another trend for fall this year is sweater dresses. And I do feel as if sweater dresses were a little bit on the, you know, lower end these past couple of falls. but they have picked up again and sweater dresses are in oversized uh, sweaters, big sweaters. So definitely if you're a sweater dress girl, this is your moment to shine. Sweater dresses are always going in and coming out of trend, but they're definitely on trend for fall 2023. Another trend for fall 2023 is off the shoulder. Showing off your shoulder uh, for the fall time. A dress, a blouse, something that's off the shoulder is really trending. And I know this is probably a step away from like the blazers. Blazers are trending for um, <laughs> fall 2023 but more boxy uh blazers are trending uh so i know we have like the just the position of the blazers and then i'm saying off the shoulder but there has to be a balance you know so the uh off the shoulders and then like the boxy blazers are in and then also if we're going to go into more of uh, like the fit dresses and tops that have a plunging neckline Plunging to the point that it's like touching your navel. <laughs> like really plunging, really daring are a style that is going to be hot for fall. So if you like to spice it up a little bit, if you want to add a little eye catching, like what is, what's going on? Then I would definitely go for the navel trend of plunging neckline that really, you know, gives people kind of an eyeful, but not at the same time, you know? Okay, so it's like I'm bouncing around with these trends, but this is what I've read and this is what I've seen. So, turtlenecks. I just said wear things that are a little cut, now I'm saying wear turtlenecks. <laughs> and that's the fun thing about fashion, that's the fun thing about style. There's something for everyone and it's always all over the place, but at the same time it makes a beautiful masterpiece. And that is why we always say something can be in trend, but whatever you like, wear. You know, whatever you want to rock, rocket uh so turtlenecks i love turtlenecks i think they're so great and wonderful they are trending even though i feel like this is a cop-out because turtlenecks are always worn in the fall time and winter time so is it really a trend hmm hmm the next trend is one that has been creeping up on us slowly 
it's slowly been getting its foot through the door and it's like wedging its way further and further and these fashion brands these fashion houses during their <laughs> runway walks and presentations we see it we see little snippets here little snippets there and i'm talking about peplum <laughs> peplum tops peplum dresses peplum skirts uh yeah I don't know how I feel about this. I think when peplums were really hot um, a, back in the day, I think I was just like, it is what it is. It's not maybe my cup of tea per se, but I did participate a little bit. Um, I believe I was in college, but like it's creeping its way back. It is a trend that is back. So if peplums work for you, then definitely go towards it. But I feel like people are kind of doing peplum in a more funkier way rather than like back in the day next trend for fall 2023 is more of the working girl look and that encompasses you know like the boxy blazers and ties skinny ties to be precise people are going towards ties being added as a accessory a key piece in their outfits for the fall time so definitely the working girl look is a big trend and it makes sense that this would be a trend for the fall time because of the multiple layers that are usually associated with a working girl look because usually working outfits are a little bit more uh i don't want to say conservative but they're not as out there as like you know other looks Last but not least on the trends that I've been seeing pop up and are really, you know, going to be up there uh, this fall, it is gothic romance. And that's a sense of like style in which think gothic, but then think romantic uh, uh, style pieces. So like flowy dresses, like um, things are a little bit more feminine and romantic in style. So uh, something that may be a little bit sheer, but it has that gothic sense with it, but it's still feminine and romantic. And so these are like skirts and these are like blouses that are maybe a little bit more like with the lace or frilly, but they still have that gothic element to them. Okay, so those are some of the fall fashion trends for 2023. Not all, of course. And as I always say in these videos, these are just, you know, trends. These are opinion based. These isn't, this isn't like, you know, you have to wear this stuff. These are the only things. You have to do this. No. <laughs> wear whatever you like. Wear what makes you happy. But, of course, I make these videos in case anyone is interested on what our trends for so i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video if this is your first time watching please make sure to hit the subscribe button and come back for more videos and also please make sure to hit the like button as well bye